What's up, everybody? This is Monster Core Arcade. Monster with an A, Core with a K, Arcade with a K. I am Johnny Hardcore, and this is my new YouTube channel, Monster Core Arcade. This arcade channel is dedicated to everything to do with an arcade a game room, man cave, if you want to call it that. But uh, this is the basement Monster Core Arcade. 25 pinball machines and down here 23 arcades one uh super checks bubble bubble uh, arcade bubble hockey also a crane machine buried under the stairs with a an atari XO football so hey that makes it number 24 arcade games and the crane machine there's also a pool table over there back yonder so today is day two of 2024 and uh i just want to get Get organized this year this is my goal every year it is my goal to get more organized to have a lot of stuff to organize I have very limited space so i'm doing the best that i can and gonna do as much as i can today before i have to go to work but anywho before i get a little more organized down here i have to put up put put the play field of star wars deities down and close that up before something happens to it and this play field glass here gets cracked so little by little, I'm doing this today. I have to push these pinball machines back because in order for me to shut off my outside water before it started to freeze, which it has frozen a couple days so far, especially today. Um, I had to move the pinball machines out and maneuver and stuff like that and blow the lines out with my friend Joey Ike, my master plumber. So in order for me to get to these pinball machines, uh, all my pinball machines, I have to make moves. I have to either yank them out or, or climb on top of them, and it's not so easy. So while I have access to the black hole from Gottlieb, 1980s, uh, I want to see what is going on with it. There was a few issues. I'll tell you quick. This motor was disconnected when I first bought it. I don't know why there was a problem with the motor. I really don't remember exactly, but these wires were... There was a clip and it was cracked and ripped, so I just spliced the wires. You know, hey, something just happened there. Um, anyway, I just, I'm gonna splice it and see what happens. This is a simple little splice. Um, the other thing that I never got to was changing this lock here, right, to keep this door closed, which is just a simple mechanism, right? But I forgot that the key broke off inside of it. And I'm, I'm sure it's in there. And I don't know if I will do this today. I might. I don't really know if I want to be bothered with all this. But um, it seems to be just as, the same as any other key lock. I do have a bunch of keys over here. I mean, a uh, key mechanism. So as stupid as this might be to do, I'm going to see if it fits. That'll be one one annoying thing that will be done today if it actually happens and then I don't have to worry about this anymore because this door kept opening up and I never never got to that and there is a lock mechanism right there yep right there's a lock mechanism there's the the, um, the port for it and there's one up here too anyway um, this back glass is pretty pretty crapped out you know it's, it's flaking all over the place so it's something that uh you know if, if I ever really care about this game I would get another back glass and spend you know the hundred dollars, the two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars for it, because it is collectible. It is a a game that certain people want, and you know, I mean, I like pinball, and I do, I do restore them as best I can to a point. But um, the one thing I want to do right now is is change these lights in here, down there, just to LED because these lights burn very hot, and the godly boards are very very old, and I think they're all. It seemed to be all this, the you, the stock one. So um, when I did have this restored by someone, you know, to a point, just really basically changing the LEDs and um, doing some work to the play field and the lower play field and all that stuff. It, this is a pain in that game because it's a double play field. But um, you know, like I said, it's very it's collectible and it has its own thing to it. So while I have it out, while I have access to it, I'm going to mess around a little bit. One thing I want to do is take off this the back glass, which is. The guy that did this couldn't figure it out, and I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, I mean, I didn't look at a video to see how to do it, but it just seems like you slide it out. You take these screws off, and then it slides out because the bracket comes off, I guess. 
which it looks like it does. I want to say it does. So I think this is how you remove the back glass of black hole. So let's see what happens. Right back. All right, so that's that's how you uh, take out the back glass from a black hole, and I would say even the uh, the haunted house because they're 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 kind of sister games or brother games, brother pinball machines. And these lights in here are, are crazy old, and I don't even know if they work anymore, but they're coming out because these burn so hot, and uh, you know. And it's just if you put in LEDs, it'll make the game look so much more um, nicer. And that's something that is just pretty, for the most part, pretty easy to do. I mean, I'm not doing this now. I'm not going to restore the black hole and, and do all these things to it. But for sure, you know, putting the, uh, the lights inside of it. And I think I have just enough lights, even if it's just blue. Um, I might do blue and white. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But none of these are working. That's not a good sign. I think it could be a fuse, too. But anyway, that's how you uh, take out the back glass. And um, when I do go to a pinball show, uh, I know certain certain uh, guys make this the the retro the the back glasses. So I would probably get that. I don't think it would cost more than a couple hundred bucks. It'd be worth it. I already put some money into this anyway, so why stop now, right? But that's that. So just wanted to share that with you. Anybody that owns any of these older games. Um, that's how you take the back glass out, because this guy couldn't figure it out. He's all, he knew a lot about pinball, knew a lot about everything else, but he couldn't figure out how to take this back glass out. I don't know. I mean, whatever. You know, I'm not going to blame him for anything. I don't talk to the guy anymore. Real piece of crap. Stole a pinball machine for me. And I'm not going to get into that one. But um, no matter what, that's that. Anyway. All right, so anyway, just changing these bulbs. There's, I don't know how many bulbs are there, like 20 of them, 30 of them, maybe. But once uh, I'll clean it up a little bit, you know, it has a little dust and crap in there. And there's a couple, it looks like there might be a broken bulb in there, I think I saw. It. No. Oh, now there is. Sorry. All right. Anyway, this is what I wanted to do today. This is, I woke up very early. I couldn't sleep much more than I did. But um, I'd rather get up and get things done. And uh, it'll... You know, it just makes you feel better when you, you get things accomplished. You stop letting things procrastinate and linger, you know. And uh, it's getting cold, you know. I'm not going to be able to do much outside now because it's going to be too cold. You know, if it snows, it's going to really stop a lot of things. So I'm going to do as much as I can before that time comes. And this way, when it does get too cold, come down here and enjoy the, the game room. Enjoy the game room with my kids and my, their friends and cousins and uh, my SHV, Silent Hill by Kinga. Who is, who makes me enjoy these games more than anyone else ever has because she completely backs me up on everything I do and I do it back to her and vice versa. I can uh, compliment her on everything she does. So it's just something that uh, makes this game room more fun. All right. You can see the, uh, the, the pool table is full of, full of stuff. But like I said, you know, I'm still putting away Christmas decorations and Halloween stuff. I got excess things down here that either is going to go in the garbage, recycle, or going to store them the right way. A lot of stuff is going to my mom's, my mom's co-op, because my mom lives here now. So her, her co-op is going to be storage until the time comes. A lot of cool things I have. A lot, a lot of good stuff. It's not junk. Just, uh, just has to be placed the right way and uh, either stored or made use of or sell i will do an update i will show you the after the aftermath of of me getting organized down here you can see i have some banger pinball machines corvette fishtails guns and roses le space ace and dragons there that do not work right now but there's a couple things that need to be addressed and i think that'll be easy fixes just like these three right here. This is like the dead aisle. All these games do not work. They they fire up. Russell Fest plays blind. Cubrite turns on play in uh plays, but the board is glitched out. I do have that that uh that kit that you could make it into a multi cubert And um I have the, the Merlin Dexter board for for Space Ace I have it installed in. 
and uh, when the time comes, it's gonna be everything's gonna be getting to gotten to. But uh, right now, one at a time. Let's get to this black hole, and then I can put them back. You know, see how far I can get with it. If I can even figure out why it's not firing up, which is I don't know something probably very stupid. I'm gonna do my best to figure it out today, and you know, a little more time. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I have other things to do, but. Um, that's my goal today. That, no, that's not my goal today. That's one of the s first things I'm doing. Then once I put these both back, after I after I change the, change the lights on this, clean it up a little bit, and put it back, and just leave it alone for a little while, I have to maneuver these games. It's a lot of maneuvering, a lot of, a lot of taking things down, all these Halloween animatronics and whatever stuff's up there. Other little pinball games. I have to move all these games again into this aisle. Aisle. Ale, and then I have to get that paperboy out of here because there's no room for it. I want this just to have uh, the games that belong here, and um, this way it's, it's usable and get this basement going the way it's supposed to be. So that's my goal for today. We'll see how far I get, and I'll do a video maybe later on or tomorrow. Other than that, keep in touch with Monster Core Arcade. Definitely check out the next videos we upload or I upload, and uh, you can see the progress of this game room i have so many other videos that i haven't posted yet on my old, old phones of of me getting these games of, of older videos of the way the uh the basement was and and even my garage which is also full of arcade games no pinball machines just arcades even a jukebox and all the arcades in the in the garage are mostly sit down racing cockpit games which is i said in other videos a way that i want my kids to learn how to drive as well as have fun so there you have it i'll be back with another video everybody have a great day take care of what you got to take care of in life and make sure you have fun doing it because if you don't it doesn't matter right all right dudes dudes and dudettes game hardcore what's my game here's my little catchphrase game i give you the gun show oh, can you see me Game Hardcore, The Gun Show.